Hello and welcome to another Night Shift. Today we want to see how our system is going to work with changing body parts. And as you can see, I got uh, here my, our normal Umar uh, with the young face. And if I uh, move the button, uh, the slider here, I get the old face, which is both in the Umar and also it uh, fits on the uh, extensions if you buy that on the asset store so you have different faces there also it works with all and for that i made a little change on the system and uh, not for make it work it's more like uh, that is clear what we are doing at uh, first i changed our hair as an item uh, and the hair list to a Yuma item and Yuma list. So we want to use that for everything we want to change at our body. Then I, oh, let's see that on the source code. It's just the same. I just renamed everything in so that's clear when we use it what it is. And here's the item itself. It's uh, plain as it was on the hair. Uh, after that, we going for the Yazil tools and I just renamed everything here. So also that's clear we make an Yuma item list and not longer an hair item list. And then we went to our race. And in the race, for the race list, I changed the hair list to Uma item list and Uma item list, Uma item list and made a new one with face list. So you can see it's all based on, on one uh, list and not different uh, kinds of styles. Then in the Uma builder, uh, we had that before that we had uh, a variation of lists for building stuff and removing stuff. We just changed that um, to make it easier for us to handle with uh, everything else we would uh, have to copy the set hair and remove hair uh, to set head, uh, remove head and stuff like that. So we just simplify that and that's quite easy. You just go ahead and uh, put in the item uh, into the function. And in this case, when we set something, you want to add a color also. We open that and you can see it's just everything until your hair part and uh, just copy these and should be working smooth like that. And for the uh, remove, we open that. It was before the remove hair and remove beard. And for that, we just do it uh, the same way. Uh, just look uh, as above that uh, hair parts is changed to Yuma parts and the rest before exchange with uh, the Yuma item. Also, we don't need to, the remove stuff in the or the, the set dirty and set shapes set uh, texture uh, in the uh, remove part since we always uh, use the remove part first and then we use the set part let's see that on our beard here we remove the uma item and we're going for my race list dot race, uh, dot list uh, race name to number dot race dictionary my race gender and there we want to get the beard list and it's uh, the uh, list with the number beard number and that's the value you fit into there and after that you set the beard number to the actual beard number of the value of the slider and then you're going for set and that's also the part you have to or you had to remove out of these functions 
and uh, be sure you don't mix up the variables here. It's if you want to have the beard, you have to have the beard number and also you have to beard color number. So let's move that a little bit over there. It's just the plain stuff which was before in one of these functions. Set beard, remove beard, remove hair. But now we have a new slider we made up here. Uh, in the public values, we got a new slider uh, face and we got a new variable which is uh, over here face number and we set that to zero and if we go all the way down to the face we doing just the same and going to remove what is in there look for the face number and then we set the face number to the slider value and after that we going to set the new UMA item and we get our race li our face list with the face number and set the color the same as we did before. So that simplifies tons of stuff. Um, you just have to be sure that our actual face is not longer in our uh, human male, which I can show you here. There's the human male. And before we set it to skin overlay um, here, and you just have to make sure there is nothing in there because you want to set it with our face list, which is here and you're going just to say it's on head and it's going this overlay. That's, everything is quite easy and you can change that with whatever you want. For example, we had the discussion in the um, channel, uh, you just you just, uh, if you want to have a claw or something like that, you go into your human mail list, get rid of the uh, hands, let's see here. You get rid of the hands and um, just add your overlay into one of these sliders. And it's always the same. Put up a slider uh, value and uh, going there uh, if the slider is moving and uh, doing an update and remove what is in there and set it new. At least I want to say in this short tutorial um, you have to make sure that on, at our enumerator function here there is the set uh, Yuma item for the face list and the hair list also. Um, that's just to, we have a starting value because we don't have one after the make function because as you saw before, the mail Yuma list is not longer valid with an um, overlay. So the better, also make sure that you going for uh, the update uh, skin color slider, if you're there, you also have to have a set humor item there, so you have to write color. It's um, the same then in your hair color, you also had the both stuff in here, the update color and the normal function for stuff which is in the uh, mail um, list and uh, of course, now you need to have the set Uma item also, so the hair is uh, uh, straight with the color again. So basically, wherever you had set hair or set beard, you have to have a remove item and a set item. Yeah, if something is not working, you just go ahead and look in all your list if they uh, value is defined before, like you have a uh, slot which you want to fill with a hair or something like that, or with a face, and you have uh, didn't uh, define that in the human mail, you uh, get an error, <clears throat> of course, 
and uh, the most of this stuff is uh, just uh, you have the wrong name in there. Also, an um, error is often you don't have the right numbers here, like skill color number or hair color number or face number or hair number. So you, if you mix something up there, it uh, would be wired if you move a slider. That's all for this part. It's just to explain how that works if you want to add body parts. Uh, one thing is to say, and when you add a body part like the hair, uh, everything what is attached to that, like uh, if we uh, delete or remove the uh, head overlay, you will lose the connection to the hairstyle, for example. We can go here and see we get a hairstyle like these hairs and we change the face and it will be gone. It will be everything reset uh, to the default and uh, you just have to uh, reset the values of the slider or um, make sure that uh, it is reset after you change the head or the face or the arms or whatever it is. So if you like this one, um, feel free and uh, push the like button and subscribe. Uh, I would be more than happy. I'm hardcore looking for more subscribers. And uh, the next part will finally start with uh, moving uh, the bone structure. So we get like nose length and uh, mouth or whatever you want. So this is only a basic. If you, oh, oh, what do I say? Um, it's uh, just a basic how to do it. It depends on what you want to have in the game. It wasn't, uh, um, or my plan wasn't before to going for face style. So since I have them in, I uh, use my package I already have. Um, um, you don't have to use it, of course. That's for all. Happy night shift and uh, maybe see you tomorrow uh, with the first uh, stuff over here. Happy night shift. Thank you.